Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. Now when John heard in prison about the things that Christ was doing, he sent word by his disciples to Jesus asking, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus responded, Go report to John what you hear and see. Those who are blind are able to see. Those who are crippled are walking. People with skin diseases are cleansed. Those who are deaf now hear. Those who are dead are raised up. The poor have good news proclaimed to them. Happy are those who don't stumble and fall because of me. Matthew 11 verses 2 through 6. When we need clarity, why do we hesitate to ask questions? Are we afraid of what people will think of us? The fear is most often my hesitation. Will someone think I did not pay attention? Will they think that I am unintelligible? Well, will the authorities that I am questioning find me defiant when I am simply asking for clarity? How often have we found, however, that as soon as someone asks a question, someone else breathes a sigh of relief and declares, Oh good, I was wondering the same thing. In this gospel passage, someone asks what others are wondering. Are you it? Or are we waiting for someone else? Especially as we round the calendar toward Christmas, we might find ourselves asking if Jesus is who many people proclaim he is, or if he is just another interesting character from our collective past who is great to shape our lives after, but is not really the fullness of human redemption. I trust this question does not only invade the hearts and minds of pre-Christians. I suspect that many Christians, well advanced in seasons and years of Christian practice, come back to this question. When the world seems like it has fallen apart, when despair reigns supreme, when grief pervades, when evil rages, is Jesus still the one we have been waiting for? Or is there someone other that we hope for, for the redemption that we should look toward? For the disciples of Jesus, the question was dangerous. Would you want to be asking that question while Jesus was still living, preaching, teaching, and healing? For disciples today, what implications are drawn of those who ask the question? Do we think that those who ask the questions are less faithful? We should recognize that it is John, the one who cried out in the wilderness for the world to prepare the way of the Lord, was asking this question. So John, of all people, trust that Jesus is who he say he is? But John asked this question after experiencing an unexpected Messiah. Jesus was not fitting with John's expectations of what should unfold. Does that make John less faithful? No. It gives John, and indeed it gives us, an opportunity to decide for ourselves our prayer reflection for today. How does Jesus reframe our expectations of what a Messiah should be or do? Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and please pass this devotion to five new people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.